Hi, I'm Steve Berger, and I have to make a confession. As a principled young man in the 70s, I helped somebody I didn't like become president. I did this by, as Lynn manuel Miranda would later write, throwing away my shot. I felt that voting for either candidate would be choosing the lesser of two evils. So I voted for John Anderson, a third party voice that is all but lost in history. So instead of lesser of two evils taking the oath of office, greater of two evils did. Along with others, I figured I would deny a vote to a man who would later remove broadcast fairness doctrine, support the apartheid government in South Africa, and claim that trees cause more pollution than automobiles. But I was also denying a vote to a candidate whose generosity and compassion, among other traits, would have made this a better world. So lesser got one less vote and greater got one less vote. Big deal. My principles left both candidates even. My principles canceled out my own vote. Had I voted for lesser, he would have gained a vote. Greater would have been denied a vote. Lesser's margin would have increased by two votes. Now I'm a principled, pragmatic old man. I'm a firm supporter of Joe Biden and experience compels me to urge anyone thinking of not voting or voting for a candidate with no chance of winning to reconsider. Please think about it. If you are voting for the lesser of two evils, you are actually voting for the better of two choices. Don't throw away your shot. Make sure you and your friends are registered to vote and vote early.